Sarah has an autoimmune disease called type 1 diabetes. Now imagine that her body is a walled city with a standing army that is meant to protect its citizens, the body, and attack foreign invaders, germs, viruses, bacteria. Unfortunately, the army got the wrong orders and is attacking its own people. This is what autoimmune disease does to a person. In Sarah's case, the army is attacking the farmers that bring the sugar cane into the city. But because the farmers are being killed off, the nutrients can't get into the city, causing the city to starve for energy. A popular solution would be to hire expensive foreign workers to feed the city every day. Unfortunately, their caravans often have trouble reaching the city. This is the problem with current treatments like insulin injections and other drugs. They're expensive, risky, and worst of all, they cannot treat the root problem. The best solution is to retrain the army. That is where the stem cell educator enters the story. Imagine putting the troops through a training camp and giving them a new order. These training camps are filled with powerful professors, stem cells, who will educate the defective soldiers on who the good guys and bad guys are. These educated soldiers will then take the new order back into the city, educating everyone else on who to fight. This is exactly how the stem cell educator therapy works. Sarah arrives at our infusion center where her blood is drawn into a cell separator called an apheresis machine. The red blood cells will be returned to her body, while the defective white blood cells are passed on to the stem cell educator. The educator is a stack of Petri dishes, each coated with special, ultra-powerful stem cells called CBSCs. Sarah's white blood cells will become educated as they pass by the stem cells on each descending level. These treated cells will return back to Sarah's body, where they will educate the other cells with the same reprogramming they just received. Depending on the facility, the same treatment may be administered in either a closed-loop method, where the blood is circulated continuously to and from the body, or an open-loop method, where the white blood cells are drawn and treated remotely. The treatment itself takes about seven to eight hours, typically split into two days. More than 200 people between the ages of 3 and 70 have received this treatment. More than 70% of our guests demonstrated significant improvement within three to six months of treatment. Some guests with type 1 diabetes have even stopped insulin injections altogether. Most guests received one to two treatments. Although much of the current focus is on diabetes and alopecia areata, it is through expanding research that educator therapy aims to prove its effectiveness for all autoimmune diseases and beyond. Educator therapy is unlike any other treatment the world has ever seen. First, there is no risk of safety or rejection. Sarah had no foreign cells enter her body. The therapy doesn't require any drugs or stem cell injections. Additionally, each educator is single use, so there are no issues of cross-contamination. Second, Educator therapy is ethically responsible. Unlike some treatments that use stem cells from aborted fetuses and animals, educator therapy only uses stem cells from human umbilical cord blood. Lastly, this treatment uses a comprehensive and multidimensional approach for each patient. While standard Western medicine targets only the physical body, the comprehensive treatment system of educator therapy addresses the whole person. Stem cell educator therapy is the breakthrough technology millions have been waiting for. Healing is finally here. Let's win this together.